back to the channel. Today I thought I would bring you guys along for the transformation of our girl's very small cozy bedroom in our 142 year old cottage downtown. So I've done a lot of transformations in this house since we moved in in the last three months and a lot of them I have not filmed because I've been so busy with life and everything else. Remodeling or makeover content takes a lot of time because it's a lot of footage over a long period of time or a few weeks or several days or whatever. And you have to save all that, piece it together and all that. So what I've done is I've photographed all of our projects. This is kind of it. <laughs> Can you see the cat? Oh, no, she moved. Uh, but since our girls room here is so small, and we are trying to tackle this within a few days because we're getting ready to go out of town for a week for a long weekend. So I wanted to just hurry and get it done. I thought, okay, maybe I'll bring you guys along on this video and we'll film this and it'll be great. So we'll start out with some photos of what this room looked like when we moved in and how we had it set up for the girls temporarily because our girls are with us just on the weekends or with their mom during the week. And so they just needed a space to really sleep when they're here. Otherwise, they hang out throughout the house or in the yard. Now we've had time. The girl, stop. She's <laughs> literally rubbing all over the tripod. So now we've had time to kind of get settled and wrapped up some a lot of projects downstairs, actually the majority of them. So we're moving upstairs and I ordered their new bed a full length mirror, some decor, their new bedding. And what we're doing for them, our girls are seven and 15. And they're gonna be sharing a room just because like I said, they're here just a couple days a week and they don't spend much time in their room. And we had two twin size beds kind of left over after the move when we upgraded the teenage boys to queen size beds. So then we decided to take those two twins and make them a king size platform bed which is plenty big enough for the two girls. So that's what we're gonna have in here. We had to order them a new headboard and all of that. So anyway, so after the before and in between photos, I'm gonna show you some pictures. When my husband began working here a few days ago because this is a small room. It was used before, I don't know if you can even tell, you can almost see like the whole wall over here. <laughs> so let's see. So here's the, so there's one whole wall. You see that that's where you come in at and there's this built-in shelf here and this is just a little stand that we had a fan on because there was, there's no fan in here and our 15 year old is a hot sleeper. So we got to have a fan going and there was shelves all along the top here. You can see the white pieces are where the brackets were. This side is much worse. The brackets over here, they had actually like liquid nailed and screwed these into the wall. So they were impossible to get off without tearing some stuff up. So that was done yesterday. After my husband did that, then we patched that all last night. And I just sanded that this morning really quickly. And now I'm gonna get to painting. I've got one of my teenagers dog sitting for me. Well, I'll pop a pill here real quick in the middle of a work day to paint. And we're doing one accent wall, the sunset orange. The other walls and the ceiling are going to be the sweet coconut milk, which is the kind of cozy off-white that I've chosen for all throughout the house. I have to do the ceiling because since they were using this as a giant walk-in closet, um, there was a like track lighting in the ceiling. So you can barely see the marks where they were now, but it ran across that way. You can kind of see that hazy line there, and there's one over here. And so it kind of created this H pattern on the ceiling. My husband took those down and removed all the extra stuff. And now we've just got the one power thing. And we did get them like a mini ceiling fan because this is, I'm five, five, Four, and we've probably got about 18 inches over my head and our 15 year old is the same height as me. So we got a, a flush mount ceiling fan that's gonna be, you know, as close to the ceiling as possible. So they don't, uh, that all this doesn't hit her head on it, but we'll give them some circulation. So 
because we had to take all that out we also had to patch those holes so now i have to paint the ceiling and there are also lines from where those lights were there for just a long time so that's what i'm doing i'm undecided on if i'm painting this wall back here the same accent orange i know there's going to be a full length mirror right there which is great because when they installed that shelf on that side you see where the wallpaper is missing see here that shelf came out to here and when we took that down we realized that they wallpapered this wall after they put the shelf up so there's no wallpaper behind this this is just drywall and the the wallpaper was torn so i took a, a knife last night and went through and removed everything that was loose that way i can paint over this we did have to patch a few spots that were kind of dented in and this wallpaper is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a mint green. It looks very old and antique. It's got some white and pink flowers and a beautiful, and it's shimmery. It's like iridescent. It's beautiful. Not the vibe that we're going for in this room though. So I've not decided if I'm gonna paint that orange or not, but when we took down the upper shelves, we did leave this little thing here because about two feet up off the ground, there are one, two, three shelves and then a top. Because the room is small, we knew that would be good storage for the girls for books, toys, whatever. And we do have a dresser to fit in here that I just thought about. We're going to figure out where that's going to go. Um, because they, ha they had a really fun curvy shaped um, dresser from the old house. It was actually already orange. And we brought it this past weekend. So we're going to, we got to get that up here too. With the kings out of bed. In this room, you guys, is like eight feet wide maybe. And king size bed is six feet wide, so that'll be fun figuring out that. But anyways, this I'm thinking about painting that green that we have throughout the house. It's a vine leaf and it's like a dark hunter green. And we love it. The girls love it. They love plants and everything and being outside just like I do. So the style of this room is going to be similar to what is all throughout the house, which is very boho, earthy, boho chic, cottage vibes. So I'm thinking about painting the entire shelf and maybe even behind the shelf there on the wall that green color but I don't think I'm going to get to that today my goal is to get the orange and the white done this has been a ton of talking so let's get to work what I usually do when I'm painting and I get into like a vibe and I totally forget to film so anyways what I got accomplished was I rolled two coats of orange I cut in one coat of orange so I may have to do that again but right now with it still wet it looks pretty good it might not need cut in the second coat and then for creaky floors for the rest um, I got the white coat on everywhere ceilings this weird little bump and walls and then I ran out of paint. So I literally had just enough of the white to do roll one coat of everything, which is fine. Once I started, I knew I was gonna run out. So that gives me a great stopping point because I have nothing else I can do. 
can't wait to get that that right there covered up because if you know what it's like to paint white over a darker color you don't get the full effect of the transformation until you cut in and get rid of the last remnants of that that'll be fun this light green color actually kind of mintish actually looks pretty good with the the, the two colors i'm doing in here but whatever <sighs> so anyway so i'm done in here for now and my I will get more paint tonight and then my goal is to at least get the ceiling done so then my husband can hang the new ceiling fan that way we don't have to use this little lamp in here but if I can do that then I can just roll the whole thing I think it took me about an hour it'll take longer to cut everything in and I'll show you what the wallpaper wall looks like because it's a little weird there you go this is what this looks like the lighting is not very good over here um, let's see, you can see some color coming through, especially when we get over here. So I knew this would need a second coat, so I wasn't real particular. So I wasn't real particular about it. These, the seam where the wallpaper was, that's very noticeable. And then as well as this part we patched here, tech, you can see the texture difference, but I think once I roll the second coat, you won't be able to see the color difference like you can right now. So what I'm gonna do is I think their full length mirror will go here. And then I'm gonna have to find just some wall art to put there because it's gonna bother me. I know it's not gonna look perfect. I'll just measure this and see you know, how big of something I need and we'll just cover that up. And hopefully I'll look at the width of the mirror we got. It might be that wide where we can set it or hang it on this wall and cover both of those seams, that would be perfect. for like round I don't even know how many working on this white trim again uh, this down here has three coats of trim on it so wild that wasn't even a super dark color just really has me questioning the quality of the paint so anyways we're gonna hit it again you see some up there and uh, try and get this done Well, Connor, our almost 17 year old, put the girls bed together for me. This is a king size. I have got the camera kind of zoomed back. If we put it on just like a normal view, you can see how much of the room it takes up. I do have it pushed over to the side right now because I'm fixing to put the mattresses on. I just wanted to show I'm really happy with how the white turned out in here. I did at the last minute decide to go ahead and paint the baseboards. Um, that same sweet coconut milk because even though the actual trim is more of a bright white it's just super aged but it was just really like roughed up and dented in i can pop in some before pictures here and show you and so it just looks not perfect but so much crisper and we've not put the outlet covers back on yet because we're going to buy them new ones because these are like dingy you see the difference there yellowish looking we're gonna buy new white ones and new white covers, so that will be good. So they don't have a ton of room in their room here. Let me zoom out a bit. This is just right in the door. And they have a dresser we brought from the other house, which I'm gonna bring up here in a minute. And just, once I saw this bed put together, I got to thinking, oh mercy. I hope the dresser and the full length mirror both fit over here without being too weird. Okay, so I got the mattresses in here. Y'all might, I might have mentioned before, we're using two different twin mattresses. So one's higher than the other. So we're going to get some plywood to put under the shorter one to kind of beef up that thickness. So that when we put um, like a, a, what's that called? Mattress pad on it, um, it'll seem like it's all one size. And then got the girls dresser in. I gotta go with the other two drawers. 
and here's the full length mirror but it's not quite full length unless you're kind of a shorty so i'm probably gonna hang it because even though ella is just about the same height as me if i put this up just where the uh thing is it's still um like with me here it's cutting off the top half of my face so we've got a couple more inches there so i think we're actually gonna hang it that way it feels like a real full length mirror uh, cause you know, teenage girls, we gotta look at ourselves. So we're gonna do that. So we'll probably get that hung tonight when we get the stuff for the bed. I've got all their new bedding here, plus the brown one is the old stuff. So I'm just gonna bring up their drawers and then I'll be done until we get the plywood for the bed. beside the bed because there's so little room. So let's try it. Well, looky there, that's cute and little. Yeah, she's got a USB plug. So we got the girls room done, large part uh, due to my husband having some time off work and he has spent a better part of the last two days up here doing the fine tweaks and hanging all the decor as things continue to come in from Amazon. So now it's time for the final reveal and I'm just gonna wrap up this video with some footage of what this room looks like now. It's done. So excited to surprise our girls with this room in a day and a half. I am pumped. Hope you guys enjoy.